Well, how do the chums to say? Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I just want to talk about when I think the next No Man's Sky update is going to be reaching us. Now, if you look here, the actual community expedition has six days remaining. But do I think there's going to be an update straight after the Omega expedition? Well, that's what we're going to get into, people, in this video. So, yeah, hold your horses. Okay, people, well, let's just jump on over to the Tinterweb. So just keep in mind the six days remaining type stuff. But if I jump on over to the Tinterweb and onto the No Man's Sky Assistant app, you can see here that the community event is still running for those six days, which means that the Quicksilver store is not going to be moving on to its next set of items until after it ends. And when it does end, we're going to be getting the three new decals. This is a community mission that we're on right now, okay? Then afterwards, we've got those three decals that I mentioned. Then after those, we've got some more ice statues, including a Diplo one and one of like an Alpha Vector. Arguably, perhaps some of the nicest of ones. Then after those, we've got another three decals. Yeah, not so nice these ones, to be honest. I mean, at least these ones, you can put these by the Wonder Projector for either a fluttery creature or a beetle. It looks quite cool. But these ones... Not so much. There's not any amongst those that I'd be using, to be fair. I mean, maybe the middle one at a push. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's all that's inside of the Quicksilver store. But how long will it take to exhaust these? Well, I'm thinking these will probably last a week, maybe seven days, and two and a bit days for each one is what I'm thinking. These, though, you can actually tell roughly how long things might take by the actual amount of Quicksilver that it's going to be. So usually if it's about, what, 200 Quicksilver, that's about a day. So that's where I kind of put my sort of bearings around stuff. Now, these ones are 500 Quicksilver each. These might take a little bit longer. So I'm thinking maybe around about three days per each of these. So three, six, nine days for those. So seven days for all of these, nine days for all of these, and then perhaps a further seven days for all of these. So that's two weeks plus nine. So that's 14, nine on top of that, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23 days, I think that's all going to take. Plus these six days that are there, you're saying a whole freaking month. So a month from now, what are we on right now? We're on the 12th of March. I'm thinking about mid-April time that we might see an update on said horizon. That's quite a fair way to go, if you think about it, really. I mean, I'm saying mid to late April with that as well. But... What's happened in other years? Well, let me just bring up some information and we'll take a look-see. Okay, Jums, well, I use this website quite a lot. You've probably seen me use this one before, but all I do is I click on this website, I do a control and F for find, and then I just type the month in question. So if we look at March, for example, the only times that we've had updates in March was back in 2017, and that was like the pathfinder type one, I believe. Yeah, Pathfinder update. And we had another one there, and that was in 2021, and that was the release of Expeditions. So, uh, there could be something in March. I'm not completely rolling it out, but I don't think we're going to see something. The only time we've seen one Expedition end and another one fire up straight afterwards, we've already had that happen once. Never again. Anyway, there's something else over there. Oh, okay. All right, that's just a few game updates over there. So you can see that we've only ever had two updates in March, and I don't think that's the norm. When you jump to April, we've had a couple in April. So 2020, we had Exomech. Not the biggest of updates. Kind of a fun one. And we've also had Outlaws, which was slightly larger. I mean, it did bring in a fair bit. Outlaw stations, outlaw missions, solar starships, squadrons. So that's quite a fair deal inside of Outlaw. So maybe there might be something slightly larger on the horizon for April 2024. 
In April 2023, we had corrupted planets and interceptor ships, and that was the start. That was the first part of the ARG inside of game, if, if memory serves me correctly, with interceptor, because then there was a singularity and then echoes, and we're still waiting for part four. So I'm thinking in April, we might get the closing part of the ARG, but then there's part of me that's thinking maybe they might leave that for the big summer update of this year. So in April, the only place where I'm placing my bets of what we might get would be somewhere in between Exomech and Outlaws in the way of content, and then perhaps another expedition stapled onto it. Now I don't think we're going to get the closing part of the ARG or anything super big until perhaps the summer of this year, which I think Sean Murray and the team might go all out and have a Gib type sized update that might rival the sort of top spot for say Origins or Next in the way of content and overhaul to what we see and enjoy currently in game and I think their main focus will be on end game considering we had the Atlas Eternal Path where we make a decision where we want to side with the Atlas or the Atlantid I think there's going to be an extra addition on top of that for end game sort of content after you've done all the Atlas Pass, Atlas Pass Eternal some sort of end game loop, something to bring legacy players back, something more of a challenge for those legacy players, is what I'm thinking. I could be completely wrong, but that's the way that all the lore is pointing for me right now, people inside the view of us. If you think any of this speculation is on the nose, let me know in the comments. Or even if you don't think it's on the nose and you think I've got some things wrong, let us know in the comments. Heck yes, I'm always open for debate and ideas around what might be happening. Your ideas are as good as mine. You know, we're speculating together, people. We really are. So anyway, that's everything that I've got for you, people. I'm actually drinking a lovely cup of coffee right now, people. Yeah, it's not my merchy stuff or my own brew of tea. It's a bloody good way to start a morning. Yes. Anyway, I digress. So anyway, let us know inside of the comments what you think. And if you liked this video, hit a subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have done that already, share it. Share it with friends that play No Man's Sky. Push them over to the captain of the Steves. Until next time, people, salute to Mondo. And uh, I've got a few things coming to my channel in March anyway. As you can probably have told, I've already started playing Helldivers. That's brilliant fun. Having great laugh in Helldivers. There's only two episodes in, so you haven't missed much. Yeah, go pick that up. It's in a playlist. I put everything in playlists on my channel. And then on the 22nd of March, I'm going to be jumping into Dragon's Dogma 2. Yes, yeah, a fantasy jaunt. It's a little bit like... Um, Skyrim meets sort of Monster Hunter meets Shadow of the Colossus. It's a very strange game to sum up, but it's Greek mythos and all that sort of goodness thrown into one. Think of like Sinbad and Jason and the Argonauts and all those stop frame animation sort of movies of like the, the 80s. It's like that as a freaking video game. If that doesn't sell it to you, I don't know what will. It's bloody awesome. So that's coming on the 22nd. I'm also hitting up Destiny, mainly because there's a, a, a pack that's just come out. Yeah, Lightfall. It sounds like some sort of Bond movie, doesn't it? But anyway, I, I used to love Destiny back in the day and Destiny 2. I dropped off after the Trials of Osiris and after it became like an online services sort of game. I've jumped back in every now and again just to sort of see if anything's changed. I'm not keen on it. You know, the whole Iron Banner and all that sort of stuff just... They lost me a little bit when they brought in all the snow peaks and when they killed off Kaid or whatever his name is. I really liked him. He was freaking awesome. I've heard that they brought him back. I don't know how true that is. I could be talking out of my backside. But anyway, I'll be jumping back into Destiny for a little bit as well. And um, yeah, we're hitting that up with Mr. Kettle. And I might only do like two or three episodes. It depends on how how much I get hooked with it, which I don't imagine is going to be much, to be honest. They lost me some time ago. And until next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Salute to Mondo.